one of the first challenges and assignments that was in the EM Cup was trying to create the brand around the team. And we tried really creating the brand around uh, Denmark and our name, the Jutlanders, which come from uh, the part of Denmark we live in. So we took the colors from the Danish flag and we took the form from the, Dan uh, from the Danish uh, country um, and especially the part from where we live and used that as, uh, as part of our brand. You had uh, such a big fun with it to taking our professional profiles for the LinkedIn and for our Instagram feed as well, which was super fun, really great and we really enjoyed it. And so on, all of the challenges with the photos and the posts that we had to use. So it was super fun, super great. It's finally time to introduce you all our team. So another question, which challenge did you like the most so far? I actually really enjoyed the first challenge. Which um, was? Where we took pictures, oh. uh, group photos um, and introduced ourselves. I think the photo part of it was really fun to stand out professionally and have portraits taken and having a day with my team, getting to know you guys better. Um, <laughs> walking around the school and the campus and finding articles and books even relevant for, for the theme of, of this competition. How did it actually feel for you to be chosen to be part of the EM Cup? Well, I was really excited to be honest because it's a huge opportunity to actually get somewhere else, to meet new people, to do a lot of new stuff and something. So yeah, I was really excited about that and I was really looking forward to meet all my new teammates and just start working out on that and yeah, just it's a lot about teamwork and collaboration. Hello guys, it's good to see Hello. you. Hello. <laughs> So I have the same questions like for Sophie and the first one is uh, how did you feel when you were chosen to go and be part of the EM Cup? Mm -hmm. Well, I can start out. I think I was, I was, of course, I was surprised, but I was really happy about it because I was already before when we've had like a little interview and stuff like that, it already got more and more exciting as we went along. So I was just very happy about it and very excited to be participating still uh, because there's so much fun stuff we've been up to together now. You were the ones that worked the most on the academic paper. What do you think about that? Was it hard? Good? Do you, do you have some problems with something? I mean, it was hard. It took a lot of hours and a lot of work and a lot of communicating, even though we couldn't always like be together face to face and stuff yeah. like that. So we had a challenge with that and some long, long hours editing the whole thing. So like checking yeah. grammar and all of those lovely things. But it was it was fun and we learned a lot, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, like figuring out how do you like put hospitality and entrepreneurship together and how do you like take this challenge we got with the academic paper and try to like solve it and figuring out what to write in it and, mm -hmm. and like take our take on it, but also figuring out the best best papers to use mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. sources and sources, which sources should we use and are mm -hmm. they good enough for the for using and just putting it all together i think it was it was a challenge definitely but it was also very fun and we got a lot of learning out from it because we we work a lot on doing stuff like that in school mm -hmm. but doing it this way was different and it was fun and it was like oh i'm doing something cool here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah that's great perfect but yeah well, i definitely hope or no i don't hope i know it that it's going to be great and we all did the great work but especially of course mm. you so thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> we hope it's good we hope it's good yeah, we did we did our best we put a lot of effort on it and also our teachers i really really like that they were involved and wanted to like guide us when we were like oh, do you, do, what what should we do and like try try and think about this and try just write something <laughs> start write something don't don't just try something so mm -hmm. that was that was cool yeah yeah, brilliant. Like, yeah, of course, uh, when you have someone who is supporting you, that's that's the best thing. 
and yeah, mm -hmm. like our teachers, they were definitely really great and helped us so. with all the things. Okay guys, so now it's actually time to introduce you to our team and especially show you the man who is behind this video, Manu. Hi, so we have two questions that I should answer. So let's just get right into it. How did you feel when you were accepted into the EM Cup team? Actually, I was quite excited. I couldn't wait to start meeting people. I'm an extroverted person by nature, so the idea of meeting people and having to work with people that I've never met before was really exciting. And I was just extremely happy overall with everything. I got the message from my supervisors. And when I saw that I got in, I was like, it's my time. I can finally shine. <laughs> yeah, so overall, it was, a, I was, it was a really good day. I was extremely happy. Uh, and the second question was, what did you find challenging yet fun? So <clears throat> I entered the competition initially. Yeah, because I wanted to talk to people and I wanted to have a social experience. But I also wanted to challenge myself. And uh, this competition, at least so far, has offered me the opportunity to have a challenge and try to tackle it. So, for example, uh, Philip said earlier that I'm editing this, which I am, which is really fun, but I've never edited a video in my life before. And on top of that, I was in charge of graphic design and I created the logos and I created a, almost every single graphic that we, can that we have on our Instagram which was extremely challenging because I've never been tested a lot of my graphic design skills because I only have a superficial graphic design experience background. So it's nothing special, but it was so fun. And it's so fun right now learning how to edit as I'm doing it and trying something new. Well, yes, it might not be perfect. I'm still trying and it's extremely interesting. So it's really fun. And also having the support system of the group that we have for the EM Cup is extremely cool. We have a team that's devoted and that's really interested in this. And we have a common drive, even though we're vastly different, we make it work, which is extremely fun. It's more than I could ever want, honestly. I'll just, yeah. Yeah, but we'll something out, I guess, and I'll just see if I can find the deadline for... We're following Philip from this day and talking to all of us. He will talk with Sophie, he will talk with you too, and get your dates, and then he will talk to me at the end. But I think that's just visually you have to go in.